What's crazy about this part of town is that the pricing ranges from 290 to almost $3 million. So whatever you're looking for, there's a good chance that you're gonna find it here. Today we're going through Cotswold. Well, the Cotswold area. I want to focus on Cotswold, Sherwood Forest, and one other neighborhood that we'll see at the very end that's super cool. But before we head into those neighborhoods, be sure to subscribe on YouTube and do me a huge favor, hit that like button too. So a couple reasons why Cotswold has become super popular. One, you have Cotswold Village Retail Center right down the street from here. There's Harris Teeter, there's a Publix across the street from there, there's a Chick-fil-A across the street, there's a Starbucks, ABC store. Literally anything that you want, you can find in Cotswold Village. Also, a big reason why people like Cotswold is because a few years ago, this neighborhood got rezoned into the Myers Park High School School District. When that happened, demand shot through the roof and people flocked over here because you have these big lots, big houses, not right on top of each other like in some other neighborhoods around uptown that feed into Myers Park. And the pricing was a lot different than Myers Park and Dilworth and some of the other neighborhoods that feed into Myers Park High School. So this became a super popular place for people to live to be able to get access to Myers Park High School. So right now we're actually standing inside of a luxury duet that's getting built by Hallmark Building on Walker Road in Cotswold. One of the reasons that a lot of builders are moving towards Cotswold to start building a lot more is because the average price per square foot is around 322 a foot, and it's gone up 16% in the last year. So there's a lot of demand here, and these builders are starting to move into the neighborhood, which is driving even more demand. One other reason people really like Cotswold is because you're less than five miles from South Park Mall, and you're less than five miles from Uptown. So as you can see, there's tons of reasons why people love Cotswold and this entire area. But you know, if you can't find something in this neighborhood, I'm gonna show you two other options that'll be great for you. So we're currently in the middle of Sherwood Forest, which is pretty much across the street from Cotswold. And that is one of the draws to this neighborhood is because you're so close to Cotswold while being a little bit more affordable than parts of Cotswold are. Notably, in the last year, the average sale price in Sherwood Forest was around 650,000. So also in the last year, there were 44 sales in Sherwood Forest compared to Cotswold's 165. So you can see it's a smaller neighborhood, less people are moving in and out of the neighborhood because they like being here. With those 44 sales, there was an average price per square foot of 296 per foot. So it's a very good place to live with big lots and your dollar can go a lot further here than it can in some of these other neighborhoods that are surrounding Sherwood Forest. Prices range in Sherwood Forest anywhere from about 450 to a million. Now, we were gonna stop here, but I figured it would be cool, especially for my contemporary fans. There's one more neighborhood right down the street that I wanna show you. So before we finish today, I felt like we had to stop in Oakhurst. The average sale price in here is around 500,000. And as you can see behind me, it's a super trendy area with tons of contemporary housing options. So you can see, especially if you're looking for a contemporary home, this Oakhurst neighborhood is a great place to look. And between Cotswold, Sherwood Forest, and Oakhurst, you can tell why this entire pocket of Charlotte has become super popular lately. Now, if you're looking for some other areas in Charlotte to learn about, be sure to tune in next week, because we've got a lot more coming.